All right, so once you've finished actually setting up the mission that you're going to play, you're going to move on to your operations phase. And you're going to keep repeating the steps in the operation phase until you either complete the mission, fail the mission, or abort it if you're playing a campaign mission. The first thing that you will do will be to move the turn record track by one forward, with the exception of the very first turn of the mission. You'll just be placing the turn marker on turn one. You don't move it forward on your very first turn. Next up, you do have the option to move your squad, and your options are to either stay on the node that you're currently located on, move to an unresolved node, or move to a previously resolved node. Now, when I'm talking about resolved nodes, the node that the mission starts on is always going to be considered resolved, so you'll never be checking to see if an event happens there due to that. You will have it marked, if you wish, with an event marker to help remind yourself that, hey, the one that you start with is already completed. You will have the choice to move along these white lines that connect the different nodes in whatever direction that you wish, but if you're moving to a node that does not have an event marker marking it as previously resolved, then you will have to complete a node resolution before you can move into that node. If you fail, you have to go back to the node that you originally started from. This is to signify that you're trying to get through locked doors or difficult passages, whatever is slowing you down, and you're trying to advance on to the next node. Let's say our squad here wanted to move forward and was going towards this node. You see that it says advance two, which means you would need two success levels of the advanced skill check to go ahead and move into this node. You can handle that a couple of different ways. Your squad leader has the ability to do their own skill checks if they have the requisite required skill, or they can use their command skill when you're doing a node resolution to hopefully apply their command point to the success levels of their squad. Make sure you watch the previous video where I talked about the squad leader generating his command points during success level checks. So as the example for this one, being advanced two, you would take any squad that had advanced, perform their skill checks, and your squad leader, since he doesn't have the advanced skill, could do his command skill to help his squad move here. If you were able to generate two success levels, then your squad could go ahead and move to the node. If they fail, then they will move back to the node that they started from. If they fail and they don't generate all that they need, let's say that they generated one success level instead of the two that are required, that one success level will stay there. So upon a further move on a next turn, if they try to move in, they've already got one success level on that node, so they would only have to generate one further to complete this node resolution. Now let's say you're trying to move into a node that you do not have the skill for. Let's just say as an example, no one in this squad had the advanced skill. You can make a single skill check by trying to generate a six, and upon that you generate one success level to apply to the node. But it's only going to be generated on a natural six. You can't use command points to try to bump it to a six and you can only do that once per node resolution. So you couldn't have each do an unskilled check. You could only do one unskilled check per node resolution. Okay, so let's consider the fact that the squad is moving into this node, and this node has already been resolved previously. When you have a squad that moves into a node that they have already resolved, in that circumstance, you will do a random number generation, on a result of a zero, a class A event will take place regardless on the presence of any event counter that's going to be on the uh, node. On a result of a one to five, the squad will just proceed directly to the node and nothing else extra will happen. And if you have a result of a six plus, then it's considered that the squad found a shortcut and they were able to get back to that node easier and they get to move the turn record track back one space, signifying the extra time that they've recouped during their mission.